Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Movavi photo editor. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So what exactly does Movavi photo editor have to offer? Now compared to Photoshop and all the other software out there this would have to be one of the best ones as well. It's a great alternative especially for the fact that it's designed to help users enhance and retouch their photos with ease. So it's suitable and great for any beginners. And not only that, since it provides a wide range of editing tools and features, I'm sure professionals as well would love to use this editor since it provides that professional looking result. It's got quite a few features for Movavi Photo Editor. Of course, our first one here is photo editing tools. Now they offer a variety amount of editing tools such as crop, rotate, flip, resize, and that allows users to adjust their photos to the desired dimensions. So having a look at the tools, you can see that they do have their options for adjust, erasing objects, background change, old photo restoration, retouching effects, caption, picture on picture, and size. And of course, this is where we can actually add our image. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll use one of their examples here. So first of all, we've got the erasing object. So we'll go ahead and talk on this first. So we have our brush size here, which is at 25, and we can increase that if we want to. So this is our brush size. You can see this. And now it is a little bit different on screen. I'm going to see if I can try to get my cursor on. So here we are. That's a little bit better. So you can see that this is our cursor. Now we've got this as our brush size. Now, if we're unsure whether we made the right choice with deleting certain parts, uh, so if we were to erase that, we can go ahead and do so, or we can just hit Control Z on our keys. Now we do have options as well uh, for the magic wand. So if there's an area as well where I want to clear off, It'll try to clear it off for me and I can apply that. So it's too large to erase. So it's just notifying me on that. Now we can also use the lasso tool. So very similar to Photoshop. So you can manually lasso the entire area. So if I want to just capture the kid here, let's just say and the mum. So we'll just go down. So it's just a quick one here. Just going to quickly lasso that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see there. I have to link that with the end point. There we go. So it's now captured that area. Then I can hit erase. So you're not limited on options. It does more or less do the same thing as what Photoshop will do. But of course, Photoshop is a great tool as well. And each has their own features. So you can see that it's lassoed a little bit there. Of course, uh, I did a terrible job there, but um, you can do better. So it, try, it does try its best to match it with the background. Now, if you are unsure, if you were happy enough to do that, you could just uh, revert it back. So that's pretty much the erasing objects. There's other parts that you can remove as well if you wanted to. So if there was a particular area here that you wanted to remove, let's just say I wanted to remove this section and then I can hit apply. That'll process it and that'll just remove that particular area. So it does just take a little minute to process everything. So you can see how that's now removed. Again, if you, you're unhappy with that, you could just revert it back. But that's pretty much the erasing objects. Now you can do uh, auto as well. So if I just want to have a selected area, I can go ahead and just delete certain parts. You can see here how it's um, going to try to delete those little areas that I've uh, selected. So you can see how it really tries its best to avoid the person in object. So if I did hit apply, of course, we did have this point here, but you can see there, um, it's a, unfortunately a too large of an area to delete. We'll try just one. So to, how about this? Okay, and hit apply. 
We'll see what that does. So it's deleting the mum and the kid. So this is the auto one. So if you're feeling a little bit lazy, you can do it through this way. And of course you can add that sort of effect. So we'll just revert back. Uh, anyway, they also have background change. So I can do it automatically or manually. So I'll just go and do automatic. You can see how that's completely removed the background straight away. It's only captured this area, which is our two people here. And then I can change the background if I wanted to as well. So you can get pretty creative with this. And I can also move the people and object. Uh, they do have more. So there's one with a beach. There's one on stage so you can get creative with it. So I'll just revert back. Okay, so that's pretty much the background change. You can do it manually as well. So if I just wanted to do a particular area, I can go ahead and do so. Now they do have the old photo restoration. So if you have managed to scan an old photo in, uh, as it says, it will get rid of creases, stains, or other marks of time. Uh, so you can color your black and white photos as well. So that's another cool little feature there. Uh, you can have colorized photos or you can hit restore. So however way your photo is, whatever you've scanned in through the scanner and you want to try to restore it, then you can use it through Movavi Photo Editor. And that's a great thing as well, especially if you want to, as I said, do a old photo restoration. Now, we also have other features as well as the old photo restoration. We've got the retouching as well. So if we need to manually make some adjustments or automatically make adjustments, we can go ahead and do so. So we can smooth the skin, we could remove blemishes, whiten teeth and improve portrait photos. So that's one way to do it. So if we take a look here, we can blush or uh, use foundation. So pretty much makeup and, and photo editor at this rate. So skin smoothing. I can uh, hit an area there. You can see how it's sort of smoothing it out. But it would more be better if you've actually got a face on portrait rather than uh, this woman here who's actually facing down. So we can't actually do a properly good job. But uh, however, what you can do is reduce the brush size if you want to try to touch up little areas. So you can see how the uh, freckles is going away. It doesn't affect anything else apart from that section. Now with the kid, you can see that I'm sort of removing it as well. Now with the intensity, I can reduce that. So it's less intense. So it's, uh, you can see the kid's cheek is becoming less pink. I can add some brush softness to it as well. So let's see here, uh, increase the brush size a little bit. Or we can have it like extremely intense. So in Reduce the size there. You can see how his cheeks are becoming less pink. Now it is still pink on screen. So what we could do is we could do the blemish removal. So we can apply that for happy enough. That'll just change everything for us. And now with the blemish removal, I can go ahead and remove blemishes. Hasn't done a great job there, but we can do it with the wrinkles as well. And then we can have shine removal or foundation. So we'll just reduce the size there. We can see that if you try to match it with the skin color, let's see if we can go a little bit darker on that. It has a little bit, or it has went out a little bit better. So there you are. And of course, if you're happy enough, just apply it. But yeah, you've, you've got all those uh, little tools there. So that's the the retouching tool. So if you want to make yourself look a little bit better on portrait, you can use this um, editing tool. Now, as well as that, we do have effects. So we can have special effects and filters. And it does offer a range of different um, effects. And that's when you can become a little bit creative and enhance your photos if you want to. So just the same as phone or your mobile device or if you're ever, ever on Instagram, you could filter through. So if we want to do Saturday night, we could do that. Eclipse, Wood, Turner, there's uh, multiple options there. As well as that, we also do have our text. 
And what's great about this is this is where we can do some watermarking. So users can pretty much add text to their photos and apply watermarks for branding or copyright purposes. And if you do have your own logo as well, you can add your own images if you want to. So if you, if you want to add it in, uh, so this is the picture on picture. And of course you can paste an image onto this. And this is our sizing tool. So this is where we're able to just crop down. So if we just want a specific area like this, I can go ahead and hit apply and that'll now crop it down to the area that I wanted to. So overall, quite a few settings in terms of that. You have other parts here. You've got your file, you can upload it online. You can do your editing. You can have your settings there. And of course the rest are just all there. But that's pretty much all that Movavi Photo Editor has to offer. And I think it is a great software tool to use. But there you guys have it. That is the Movavi Photo Editor. Now it is suitable for a wide range of users, as I've mentioned before, beginners, um, anyone who's an intermediate or professional would like to use this. And you could use this uh, if you're a photographer, it would be great as well. Uh, or if you're just an enthusiast, um, feel free to try out the editing tool. Now, with this editor provides the essential photo editing tools and features without the overwhelming parts. So if you have a look at Photoshop as well, it can be a little bit overwhelming if you are a beginner. And I think this would be a great starter. Now, whether you would need to retouch your uh, portrait photos or remove unwanted elements from images or apply creative effects to your pictures, Movavi Photo Editor offers that simple and effective solution to enhance and tra transform your photos with ease. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. And if you did, let us know in the comment section below. Hopefully this video has proven to be helpful into, into the introduction of Movavi Photo Editor. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.